Hi guys, welcome back to Hoops Junction, where Hoops meets Hoopla. We're going to be talking about are LeBron James' days of winning NBA MVPs behind him. Now, this whole conversation started when Green, Michael Greenberg of Mike and Mike, he went on a little rant and he said that he would, he would have the Cavaliers and LeBron himself sit, take a lot of use the Greg Popovich approach to the NBA season, which means sitting him down many games, resting him, taking him out of meaningless games when they're down by 20 points or up by 20 points. And he he had to apologize to the fans of Cleveland by saying that, which was very funny and ironic. And frank, frankly, and ironically enough, I fully agree with Mike Greenberg. The fans of Cleveland, they have to stop looking at things in this in a smaller sense, in a smaller picture. LeBron James is in the pinnacle of his career. He's at the, he's at the point where MV, MVPs will not matter anymore. They don't matter. He's at a point where only rings matter. So in order for him to make headway in that, he's going to have to put down the chase for MVPs, NBA MVPs down. He's going to have to put it down. The fans of Cleveland are going to have to put it down. And management is going to have to put it down. They're going to... I don't know if it's LeBron's personal goal. Because I remember he, he said he had a goal that he wanted to win at least five or six NBA MVPs. You know, So he's going to have to put that goal down. Because the ultimate goal is to bring a championship to Cleveland. Now, as you've seen that... Throughout his career, LeBron has a lot of mileage on his body. And part of the problem is because he's he's trying to show people that, you know, he's a freak of nature. He can handle it during the season and he could do it in the playoffs. But but he doesn't have to chase two carrots. You know, he doesn't have to show you that he's the baddest in the season by trying to chase for MVP. I remember last year. You know, he was insulted when people did not consider him for to be an MVP candidate. And it's just weird. It's just like you've been you went to four straight finals. Oh, sorry. At that time, it was, at that time it was four. You went to four straight finals and you won two of them and you're getting insulted when people don't consider you for NBA MVP. Another time he said he was insulted that he he wasn't considered for the defensive player of the year. This was two years prior. And that mentality has to stop. And it has to stop from him. It has to stop from the fans of Cleveland. You know, what you're trying to achieve is way, is much bigger and much more important than winning an NBA MVP. It doesn't mean anything. At the end. And personally, for me, it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's a nice personal goal, and you get the respect of your colleagues. And, you know, fans, you know, they vote you, and they say that, you know, throughout the season you've been doing your thing. But at the end of the at the end of the day, you know, three years from now, the only thing that people are gonna remember about a season is which team won the NBA Finals. They're really not gonna remember who won the MVP or how close the race was. They're they're really not gonna remember it, you know. Like if I ask you in the year 1999 who won the NBA MVP, could you tell me? Probably not. And that's, and that's the thing. That's the thing that LeBron has to understand. That's the thing of fans of Cleveland have to understand. It's just like a lot of small markets, they tend to focus on small things. And I and I mean this in the nicest way possible. It's just like, you know, they'll be like, well, we had a, we got a six-man six man candidate. He didn't win. I'm really pissed off. Or we have an NBA MVP candidate. He didn't win, so I'm really upset. But you should just focus on winning championships. You know, like, Boston fans and Laker fans, they never worry about their player getting an MVP. They worry about their player winning championships, you know. Kobe has five rings. How many NBA MVPs does he have? One. Does that make you think any less of Kobe? No. You know, because at the end of the day, it's not about that. It's about winning the rings. So he should hang it up for physical reasons because, you know, he doesn't want to exert so much energy into trying to win an MVP and then try to, after that, oh, let me get the championship on top of that. He just needs to keep all his sights on one thing. He needs to stop letting, you know, being left out of the race hurt him or, you know, people not considering him 
MVP material to hurt him. He, it's it's okay. Like we all know you're the best player in the world. You said it yourself. So forget about MVPs. Like best player in the world, they don't care about MVPs. You know what they care about? Winning it all. In you know the June, when it counts. So after that, you know we got to get to the point of why he really should put down the whole MVP race and you know thinking about it. All these young guys coming up. You know, you got Stephen Curry, James Harden, Anthony Davis. It's fresh legs, baby. And right now, LeBron James doesn't have that. And it's sad to say, you know, he's only 30 years old. You know, you would think at 30 years old, you would have to be fine. You got fresh legs. But, you know, five straight finals, Team USA obligations. I mean, this guy, if, if you were to put in real life with his body, the mileage on his body, he's probably maybe 33 years old. His legs are probably 33 years old. So, these guys have fresh legs, and, you know, as, as you watch Stephen Curry this, this past season, man, these guys, you know, they, they have all the dribbling moves, all the techniques. You know, it's no longer a power game. It's more quickness, finesse, and, you know, shooting game. So, you know, LeBron, I don't think LeBron has the shooting touch yet. I mean, he, he can shoot. But he's not efficient, and when I mean efficient, I don't even mean I don't care about the numbers. Like I don't, I could care less about all that crap. But I mean, like he doesn't get those easy shots. Like if you if you watch Stephen Curry when he's coming off that screen and roll, and you know it's like a drag. When he comes to shoot for that three, it's like automatic. Like it's it's easy. It's an easy shot. James Harden that step back, it's automatic. LeBron James he doesn't have an automatic shot. He has like a, he has automatic drive, you know, like once he gets like a step on somebody and he, he hits him with the chicken wing, you know, he hits him with a little bow, you know, he has automatic drive, maybe and one, but he doesn't have that automatic shot, like Curry, automatic three, James Harden, automatic step back. So in that sense, he can't compete. So it, it doesn't make any sense for him to even want to compete with younger guys because younger guys, like they go for MVPs, like. This beginning of the season, Paul George, James Harden, they already claimed that they're, they're, they're going for the MVP. So if you have all this competition for an award that's an individual award that's kind of meaningless, just leave it alone. Focus on winning the championship, which means more. You know, it'll, it'll immortalize you even more, especially if you win it in Cleveland. So that's another reason that winning an MVP, NBA MVP should not be on LeBron's radar. You know, these young guys, let them have it. You know, you're, you're above that. And it will show if you win a championship in Cleveland, which everybody in Cleveland and a lot of NBA fans want to see. You know, Cleveland has like a dark history. You know, <laughs> just the the Browns, the Cleveland Indians, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Just a really dark history. So winning a championship is way more important. And finally, like I think that all this MV, NBA MVP talk should be put to rest for LeBron because. The Cavaliers, like it or not, they're going to do what they have to do to make this goal a reality. I mean, they're already all in with Tristan Thompson, paying him all that money that he didn't deserve. You know, Tristan Thompson is making more money than Stephen Curry. And Stephen Curry won the NBA MVP and won the championship. So, I mean, that's ludicrous. So, they're going to have to sit LeBron. You know, and fans might not like it, but they're just going to have to manage his minutes. They're going to have to do something because, like, they see that their investment and the, the risk that they're taking is, is essentially they're landlocked. They can't make any more moves. only thing they could do is trade and continue to go on the red in the salary cap. So that being said, they're going to have to preserve LeBron. I mean, they're going to have to preserve Kevin Love. They're going to have to preserve Kyrie Irving. I mean, LeBron has been an Iron Man. You know, it's it's remarkable that he hasn't been injured. And Kevin Love and, and Kyrie Irving, I mean, Kevin Love, we all saw it coming. Kyrie Irving, it was like a toss-up because he was injured in college, and he got injured again when he got to the pros. But you thought it was kind of like over, and then, bam. So winning the championship is very fragile. So why would I want to risk my best player, the best player in the world, getting injured because once if if LeBron ever goes down it's over like it's over because he's the heart and soul of the team and with the with the way that they built their team 
they can't get anything from anybody else really like when it really counts like when it matters it's kind of tough for them to to get what they need it's kind of tough for them to get that playmaker I mean Kyrie Irving's a great playmaker but I think his confidence and his decision making is better when LeBron's on the court same thing with Kevin Love like his his confidence and the way he plays is better when LeBron's on the court because he can facilitate but then when it's the other way around like when LeBron's not there it's kind of it's not a good look for him. It's really tough on him. And you saw that when the, the beginning of the tumultuous season. But at the end of all of this, you know, sorry for the fans who love to see LeBron host, hoisting that NBA MVP trophy. But it's over. It's over. It has to be over. It really has to be over. If if he wants to push himself to get the NBA MVP, he can. But it's going to be at the, the detriment of him winning a championship. Because you got to compete with all these young guys who, are, I mean, they're killing it. I mean, the way that these guys are shooting is ridiculous. I don't know who's teaching these guys how to shoot. I don't know if it's the pro shot shooting system, which I do have a review on on hoopsjunction.com. I don't know where they're getting it, but it's ridiculous, man. These guys are shooting lights out. The three-pointer is becoming, like, it's not a trend anymore. It's... It's here to stay, and these guys are lighting it up, you know. So, if LeBron's gonna revamp his game and then go go the Curry route and you know dribble a lot and shoot a lot, I don't I don't think that's I don't think that's his forte. So, you know, at the end of it all, he should just focus on winning championships. He's only judged on championships, you know. He's already up there with Kareem, Michael, Jordan, and you know. Kareem has six MVPs, Michael has five MVPs, LeBron has four MVPs. I'm not going to look at LeBron any more, any, any more, any less if he doesn't win the MVP next year. Now, if he doesn't win the NBA championship, yes, I'm going to look at him less. Do you understand? That that makes more sense. So, and winning NBA MVPs, it shouldn't be on his radar anymore. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, if you, if you really think about it, when you watch his interviews... And you watch that the way he, he is. You know, it might be because he's a Capricorn. Like, for something so small as, like, winning an NBA MVP when you sat out. Like, he sat out a whole bunch of games last season. And he still wanted to win the MVP. <laughs> if you think about it, it's like it's like a kid. You know, like, let's just say everybody was working on a project. It's like a kid, you know, they sat out most of the project. You, you've been in this. They put you in a group. They sat out most of the project. And then when it's time to present and then get all the awards or whatever, they get kind of upset when they're they're off looking to the side like they they don't know what they're talking about because they didn't help. <laughs> so like in, in terms of that, like LeBron didn't help himself by sitting out some games, you know, like hey you sat out, so you're not gonna win an NBA MVP. It's just weird how little things like that tick him off, like not winning Defensive Player of the Year. Like who who cares? <laughs> who cares? You already got four NBA MVPs, first time. First team, all NBA. That this is the stuff that matters, man. Championships, but championships is the, essentially the number one thing that matters for him. I mean, right now he's he's two two and four, right? Two and four. Two. He's been to six finals. He's two and four. Hey, you gotta worry about proving that record, cause when you go to that Hall of Fame. Nobody's going to want to hear about any MVPs you have. It's going to be all about the championships. So, you know, let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think that LeBron does have more NBA MVPs in him? Like, do you think, like, that's important for his career and his legacy? You know, truthfully, I don't. So, let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. And go to hoopsjunction.com for all your basketball content. This is where hoops meets hoopla. Vladimir signing off. Peace.